Yeah, more happier. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Yes, more so, happy about getting up and getting out and mixing and meeting other people in the same situation as myself. And yeah, and talking. Talking's been really good. It's been really good. Yes, my name's Kathleen Hale. I'm 67 years of age. Um, up till the COVID, uh, I never got out much at all. Um, but yeah, I used to work for the National Health and uh, in pharmacy. Uh, enjoyed it very much. Well, the COPD is shortage of breath and walking, distance and walking, I find it very difficult to walk far. Uh, with my arthritis, it's my joints, my feet, my hands, my arms, um, and my neck. But uh, yes, but my asthma, as I say, I've had for many years now, and uh, I'm on a lot of medication for it. My name is Kerry. I'm one of the community respiratory physios. I work for the Countess and CWP Trust. We call this the vicious spiral of inactivity. The less you do, the less you'll be able to do. It's been made significantly worse by the fear of contracting COVID-19 and the impact of staying at home for weeks on end in isolation. Worryingly, we found that even our most inspirational and motivated patients have become deconditioned and depressed in the aftermath of lockdown. That's why when we first heard about the post-COVID walks organized by the Canal and Rivers Trust in partnership with Active Cheshire, we wasted no time in helping to identify and signpost some of our candidates that we felt would benefit from the project. Walking, as we all know, is a safe and effective form of exercise. Low impact on joints, great at building endurance, strengthening bones and muscles, and enhancing an overall sense of well-being, whilst being in touch with nature and your environment. Compared to other forms of activity, it's also relatively easy to be COVID secure, which will improve participants' confidence, their safety, and help to reduce some anxiety. I can't extol the virtues of exercise enough, especially walking in all its forms. Hi, my name is Sam and I work for the Canal and River Trust as a project coordinator with the TIF funded post-Covid walks in Cheshire. Sometimes people feel that it's hard to commit for 12 weeks, but we've tried to encourage them and for those who have stayed, they said they've really enjoyed getting to know everyone and getting to know their local waterways. The project's been extremely beneficial for our COPD patient group who have said that the regular walking activities have helped with their breathing, their mood and helping them to prepare to keep active over winter and stay safe. I can't believe I'm a different person because I'm sitting in a chair all day, not going up the stairs, only at night. Now I'm completely different. I've got my confidence in my house, doing my cleaning a little bit more than normal. But uh, you know, I love the walks and meeting other people. Yeah, it's been great. Thank you. Good help. These walks are more interesting because the sounds you hear and the scenery, I mean, I never thought. And we've had some videos on Zoom, and uh, they've been magnificent, absolutely magnificent. Places you can go, I've never even dreamt of. So you enjoy the, also the online delivery of the walk?